A short summary of the Smart42 electric convertible because we had an in-depth review on the normal Smart42 of the new generation. We recently had the Smart Electric in the full review and we already had the Smart Convertible in the full review. Now it's just new the combination of convertible and electric drive. Therefore just a short overview here today, exterior, interior and what we had from a driving experience. Here in Autogefuel, your number one resource for in-depth car reviews and your number one community to discuss cars. Today with me, Wes Thomas. So exterior wise, you see the electric drive smart also as a convertible. It looks like any other smart with dark rims, for example. Then we get the matte gray color in here. Overall, pretty fancy for sure for such a small vehicle. The convertible, of course, you can see the, um, uh, this, this rear pillar always stays, but you can remove the upper bars here, how they are working. I have shown that in detail on our full convertible review of the Smart for two. But it's actually a real convertible feeling when driving, I can tell you so far. Trunk-wise, by the way, pretty interesting. You can see that uh, we could mount uh, a lot of luggage in there, very interesting. You just have to put it very cleverly and, for example, especially with the convertible, leave out the sides each on the right and the left because the, um, the bars for the convertible construct construction, they need some space. Then, in general, the interior is interesting that we can find, for example, interesting materials like a cloth covering of the dashboard. I really like that. This is the prime trim level that comes with animal skin seats. That does not make sense for a sustainable car, of course, but you also have the passion and the proxy trim level. One comes with fabric seats, the other comes with fabric leatherette mix and they also look pretty good. You can also check them out in our convertible review in the normal full one. Then you have the overview of the trims. It is not the most premium interior, of course. That's also not the goal of the car. Something is plastic-ish, uh, but interesting ideas. The GPS basically does a good job also when the visualization is not the best one. Pricing-wise, 25,000 euros. It starts in Germany. Well, you can deduct, uh, deduct meanwhile 4,000 euros for you know, the governmental benefits, then you're quite okay. Still, it is definitely an expensive car. The Smart, in general, is not that cheap. And driving-wise, this is really fun because the battery has an official range of 150 kilometers. The effective range in everyday driving life will be about 100 kilometers. We also tested that here today. You have a lot of driving fun because the center of gravity is really low. That gives you a sporty feeling. The wheelbase is so short and you can turn around on the same street, basically. It's really fun to turn around with the car, go, just go in circles. It has really great driving fun. Another advantage is, if you compare it to the normal petrol engine, when you stand still, the normal petrol engine really shakes the car, especially when the car is in gear. That's not happening with the electric drive. And up to a speed of about 70 kilometers an hour, it is so silent, especially when you're sitting on the inside. I mean, you say that about 40 kilometers an hour, the, uh, the tire noise is louder than the engine noise. However, you don't feel it when you sit inside the car. So really a silent experience. And I can tell you, there's hardly any other good feeling you can compare when you're driving an open top car in such a silent way. And that is something really new. Um, you know, there's the Citroen e Mihari, but then there's basically only this car as an open top uh, electric vehicle. And this is something so to enjoy countryside, not on the Autobahn, I mean, Smart is not an Autobahn, not a motorway car, but on, in the city and in the countryside, has hardly any other car experience, car feeling, autogefühl, than driving in convertible with electric drive. So, and that's the reason why I think that is really an amazing vehicle, even if, uh, you know, first I say, oh, Smart electric, Smart convertible, you know, whatever. I can tell you it is amazing when you, you should do a test ride 
and um, there's really so much you can uh, spice up your life in the city with this vehicle then and to me it actually comes closest to riding a motorcycle and that speaks for the fun. Thank you.